What's up, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. I am self-aware narcissist Lee Hammock, also known as Mental Illness, the diagnosed narcissist from TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. If this is your first time seeing my face, I bring awareness to narcissistic personality disorder and I validate the victims and survivors of said disorder. This series right here is dedicated to taking my TikToks and YouTube shorts and making them longer on YouTube. Enjoy the next TikTok. It's about the narcissist's next supply hiding the next supply. Thanks. Sometimes when a narcissist moves on from you, they won't like flaunt the next person. They'll hide them from you. They'll hide them on social media. They'll hide them in real life. They'll hide them everywhere. I know a lot of people are used to like narcissists moving on, discarding them and like moving on and like flaunting the next person, like giving them everything that you wanted and things like that. But that's not how, how it always goes down. The narcissist sometimes will move on and hide the next person to keep you guessing, to keep you on the hook, to kind of drive you crazy, to have you stalking their social media and asking about them to, friend, to mutual friends and things like that. Hey, has he, has he been talking to anybody else? Because I haven't seen anything on his Facebook. He hasn't posted anybody, but I've been hearing things. And that makes you look obsessive. That makes you look like you can't move on. It drives you crazy. It keeps you thinking. And sometimes the narcissist will even reach out to you and say they haven't moved on but actually has and you'll discover it and you'll question them and they they'll be like hey why are you so worried about me we're not together anymore i can do what i want no contact so i hope you enjoyed that TikTok because we are going to get into it right this second like i said about the new supply the next person the narcissist new supply your replacement and things of that nature a lot of times when you are dealing with a narcissistic person, a toxic person or whatever, they will, and they move on, they discard you for someone else, they will hide the new person. They won't make the, I know everybody's like, they treated the next person so much better. Yeah, which is true, Some, a lot of times, which is true. But a lot of times, they will hide the next person in order to keep you on the hook. They will hide the next person in order to keep you from filing child support or, you know, um, trying to take the house or actually file if y'all are married actually keep you from trying to file for divorce and things of that nature you know just give me some time or whatever I'm out here doing my thing like, I'm not you know I'm not with anybody else there's nobody else and you but you know you've done your research you know that there is another person in the picture you know it you know literally that there's another person in the picture that the narcissist is hiding from you but you just can't prove it or you can prove it and they still deny it and they deny it because it's because it keeps you guessing. If you haven't moved on, if you don't want to move on, and a narcissist has moved on, and you can you know it, but you can't prove it. Sometimes you know they have a new person, but they are hiding them. That keeps you from moving on sometimes, especially if they discarded you viciously out of nowhere. If they started, if they ghosted you or something like that. Um, if y'all have kids together and things like that, and they keep promising you that they might come back to you to keep the family together and things of that nature. A narcissist will hire the new person to keep that going for them because two supplies are better than one. You know what I mean? Two supplies are better than one. If I can, just in case the narcissist's new relationship fails, they can always go back to you because guess what? You are the path of least resistance. If the narcissist wouldn't have discarded you in the first place, y'all would still be together regardless. So they can use that situation. They can use it and hide in the next person as a form of kind of a, uh, as a form of pitting you against yourself and making you work harder for their love, attention, and affection. Because a lot of times when the narcissist discards you, you become trauma bonded to the narcissist. Like you are still addicted to the narcissist because it ended so abruptly with no explanation. And you know that there's a replacement, but sometimes you can't prove it. So it makes you, you, you start to feel like, you start to feel like you less than what you are. Your self-worth and your value, it plummets because you have connected so much of it to this person, to this narcissistic person in your life. That you, it's hard for you to move on. It's hard for you to tolerate anything else other than that what the narcissist says and does for you. So a lot of times in this in this situation, the narcissist will transition you from main supply, main person, husband, wife, or whatever, to the second so secondary supply, the side chick or dude. You know, and you don't know if that situation has happened to you yet. You can't prove it, but it has happened. Like you are the second person now. And, and when you find out, like when the news, like a lot of times you, the way you find out about the new supply is they, the new supply comes forward because they don't like being hidden. And I, if you go to my comment section on my TikTok and my Instagram, you can tell a lot of people say, um, a lot of people will say that they have been the new supply and they did not, they didn't realize that they were the new supply. 
and then the narcissist was hiding them on purpose, saying that they didn't want, you know, wouldn't post pictures on Facebook or social media and on Instagram or Snapchat or anything like that because they didn't want anybody invading their privacy. You know, Facebook ruins relationships. I don't want anybody invading our privacy and taking me away from you or taking you away from me and just asking too many questions. You understand what I'm saying? So just keep it private. I just why I don't, I'm a very private person. I don't post stuff online. You don't post anything online either. But then the next person sometimes breaks that breaks that barrier right there, breaks that boundary and posts a picture or a status or something like that with your person in it. And now you have proof. And now you a lot of times you rage out, you start going, you know, you it's kinda of like a react it's kinda of like reactive abuse. You know, you start raging out, you start getting very, very angry and upset because of what's going on and what's happening, and then you end up with that you end up super, you know, obsessed with that narcissist and you end up you asking questions and things like that and you blow their phone up and a lot of times like they you know they ignore you they gaslight you and manipulate you and they're like this person is lying i'm not with them i'm still i'm still i'm still on the fence about coming back to you or whatever but you doing this right now it's kind of like you're invading my privacy and you're pushing me away so do you need i need some time how much time do you need i just need some time it's never it's never a, a, a it's never a like set amount of time it's always i just need some time it literally that's it right there and a lot and sometimes the narcissist will hide the next supply because it's somebody you know it's like your friend or one your family member or something like that or their friend or their 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 best friend's wife or their best friend's husband or something like that so that's why they're hiding the new supply because it will literally blow up and ruin some lives you mean they want to time it correctly, like they want, you know, they want to be able to come forward publicly on, on their own time and not be kind of just, you know, drug out into the streets, so to speak, yeah, you know, and things like that. So they'll hide a new person because the new person is someone close to them in a position of power that could possibly ruin their life, ruin their life, or and or their relationships in general. So it's just like if I'm dating my, if I'm sleeping with my one of my good friends, I can't say it correctly because it annoys me. If I'm sleeping with one of my good friends' wives. And me and her plan on just escaping together and leaving. I'm going to leave my wife and she's going to leave her husband. We want to do that on a timing schedule. So we'll hide each other. I'm hiding the new supply. So you don't find out that I'm leaving. You, and her husband doesn't find out that she's leaving until we are ready to come forward with that. You know? So that can ruin their life if somebody come forward too soon. I've seen you out at the restaurant with so-and-so. So explain yourself. Now you gotta get kicked out the house. Now you gotta get divorced really, really quick. Now the situation, it's the, the time, the clocks have accelerated. You know what I mean? So now the situation is seen, is seen, is untenable and now they might try to fight to stay with you. So a lot of sometimes the narcissist will hide the new supply for a lot of different reasons, but whatever reason it is, it's not for your benefit. It's for the narcissist's benefit, just in case they have a backup plan. Because like I said, in that previous description, that the previous story I just told, sleeping with the best friend's uh, wife or whatever, they can leave. Their wife can leave. You know what I mean? Um, if that situation, like if that situation, blows up too quickly, then if, if me and uh, the new supplier, the, my best friend's wife, we break up or something like that before anybody knows, I can just come back to you easy, easy peasy, no harm done, no harm, no foul. You know I mean you didn't know? Uh, her husband didn't know. We are all good to go. Everything's good and covered and and buckled up and things of that nature. So yeah, hiding a new supplier has a lot of you know. <laughs> it's like it's like I'm talking about a skin, uh, like some skin applications. That has a lot, has a lot of benefits for the narcissist. But anyways, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. I really truly appreciate y'all. Like, hit that like and subscribe button. Turn your notifications on too, so you can you know get notified when I pop one of these videos out for you. Um, I post at least three or four a day. I've uploaded my YouTube shorts, my TikToks as well. So thank y'all for tuning in. Mental illness is out. Peace.